countdown to Earth Day. Get ready for some trash talk with the social media influencers taking on the zero waste movement. Let's do it. The U.S. produces more trash than any other nation, and these influencers are sharing simple tips we can all use to cut down on waste. Three zero waste ways to use banana peels. From food. One of my favorite food waste tips is to create an eat first box. To fashion. Hey, it's me, Daniel, and I'm turning this stuff into this stuff. And it's everyday items. Garment. My favorite zero waste kitchen items. These are some of the social media influencers taking on the zero waste movement, encouraging their followers to rethink their trash. The hashtag hitting over 2 billion views on TikTok. Here is what I got from last night's trash walk. The average American discarding up to 4.9 pounds of trash per day. When we generate all this waste and it accumulates in landfills, that trash decomposes and it produces gases like methane gas, which is a very potent greenhouse gas. Consumer culture really tells us there's one way to live. It's buying so much, it's buying single use, not making trash in the first place, not making anything that needs to be recovered or landfilled should be the goal. Environmental activist Lauren Singer suggesting a trash audit. One of the biggest things that you'll see in your trash most likely is food waste. Composting is one of the most important and biggest steps that an individual can take. Besides that, you'll see items like textiles, personal and beauty care, item. Since 2017, Lauren offering more sustainable options for everyday goods at her package-free shop. I tried to go one day without using plastic and I failed. In 2019, Ashley Renee Insanwu went from travel influencer to environmental content creator. Composted. And says a zero-waste lifestyle doesn't have to impact your wallet. Long before the modern zero waste movement started, many cultures around the world pretty much had no choice but to live sustainable lifestyles. Now it's like it's taking a, a very big shift in our mindsets to kind of unlearn all of these wasteful habits. Ashley helping her followers shift from a disposable mindset to a reusable one. This aluminum can right here, this is from an old can of beans. When you use what you already have at home, that is like the most sustainable thing that you can do. Daniel Silverstein designing a solution through his fashion business, turning trash into treasure. We take these scraps and leftovers from other designers piece them together to make new pieces, and then we take the scraps of our scraps and start again. Sustainability is for everyone. And in order for us to make change on a global scale, we all have to do our part. And so any effort, any effort you can do to reduce your impact is a great first step. And it can be something as simple as reusing what you already have in your house, like swapping paper towels for a dish rag, as one zero waste influencer said, we don't need a handful of people doing zero waste perfectly. We need millions of people doing it imperfectly. It. Mm. Yeah. And that's really good advice there because everyone's like, oh, I'm not perfect with it. No, you don't have just a little, just a little something. Yeah. Just a little mm. something. I'm ready to create a family challenge. Um, um, that was very motivating. Great. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Give it a shot. Maybe I'll record it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.